Lanisha Cole is Nick Cannon's latest baby mama, y'all. Lanisha Cole is 40 years old, and she's a former model and a former video vixen. She was in that Pharrell and Jay-Z's video, uh, Frontin'. I was just frontin'. Y'all remember that video? Yeah, she was in that video and uh, back in the day. And um, she gave birth to Nick Cannon's daughter earlier this week. She denied um, being his baby mama for nine months because I guess she was embarrassed. Um, but she announced this week that Nick Cannon is the father. Nick Cannon said, hey, criticize me, don't criticize her. Um, but we gotta criticize her, Nick, because um, women are the gatekeepers of sex. So these women are actively choosing to allow you to knock them the fuck up. And um, it doesn't make sense to allow Nick Cannon to knock you the fuck up at 40 years old and um, to come out here and say, you embarrassed. If you was embarrassed, you would have had an abortion. You live in California. You have access to abortion. You get pregnant by Nick Cannon, you see he got all these other women pregnant. Uh -uh, let me go down here to the child chop shop and get rid of this shit because I'm not about to sit up here and be a baby mama. That's what you should have did. You're 40 years old, Anisha. You had a husband that you left. She said she left her husband because being a wife wasn't her thing. It wasn't for her. But she decided to stop being a wife and go be a baby mama to a man that has a gazillion children and said he ain't stopping until he get to 40 kids. Nick Cannon wants 40 children. This is insane. The man is addicted to getting women pregnant. It's, a, it's addiction. And, I, and these women are sitting up here and they are aiding and abetting him in his foolishness. They think they're going to get some money out the deal, but you're not. The more kids Nick Cannon has, the more money he has to pay out, meaning he has to give every single baby mama a house and a car and some nannies and jewelry and make sure their hair and nails done and make sure they're doing good. He got to do all of that for all these baby mamas. What happens to Nick and his, what happens to Nick's kids if he gets sick? Nick Cannon allegedly has lupus. Some people say he got AIDS, but it's really, you know, we going with what they say. They say it's lupus. What if today or tomorrow he falls ill? Who maintains these children and their lifestyles? Because Nick Cannon is used to a particular lifestyle and his baby mamas are too. So what happens when he's no longer able to keep up with all these child support payments and hair payments and uh, nanny payments and nail appointment payments and all the things that these baby mamas need to be kept happy. What happens when he's no longer able to keep up with them? Is he going to kill them off? Is Nick Cannon going to start killing off the baby mamas when his money runs low? I think so. I think a couple of them baby mamas going to pop up missing. When the money run low, they got to go. And that's what I think. Don't be surprised if you see... Oh, Nick Cannon, baby mama dead. Don't, don't be surprised. When that money run low, you're going to see a lot of these, these women getting killed off. Um, Nick Cannon not about to go broke to take care of these hoes. They so dumb. I never seen so many women rush in to be dumb bitches. How the fuck are you rushing to be baby mama number 10? at 40 years old. Now I expect that from the dumb little girls that's like 18, 19, that's fucking with NBA young boy. They dumb. So you can, you can give them an excuse, but not all these 30, 40 year old women who supposed to know better. You know, yeah, you, they supposed to know better. <laughs> you 40 years old, you divorced your husband 
to be Nick Cannon's baby mama. It's two baby mamas that left their husbands for Nick Cannon. They're in a relationship with him, but he's not in a relationship with none of them bitches. What type of dick does Nick Cannon have to where all these women are rushing to go get pregnant by him? Why are they signing up to be a part of this foolishness? And should the women be arrested at this point for feeding Nick Cannon's addiction to getting women pregnant? Nick Cannon wants to see how many women he could get pregnant. He said he wants 40 children. What type of man in his right mind wants 40 children? I don't care how rich you are. You don't want all the headache of dealing with all them baby mamas and all these goddamn kids. Most men want two or three kids. 40 fucking kids. Something has to be done. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it when these baby mamas pop up missing. I, I don't want to hear y'all say, oh, Nick Cannon was wrong. No, they were dumb bitches. They shouldn't have put themselves in that position. 40 years old and you decide to be a baby mama. At 40 years old, you should be walking in the hospital with your husband saying, this is my husband and we're getting ready to have a baby. We expect this from the little 18, 19 year old girls who dumb enough to be a baby mama, but not no 40 year old woman there. She should have had a baby by her husband. Why she didn't have no baby by her husband? And Lanisha Cole was running around with some Asian man trying to act like the Asian man was the daddy. And I guess he thought he was the daddy because she was too embarrassed to tell the world that she was Nick Cannon's baby mama. And he just found out that he wasn't the daddy. If you're that embarrassed to be a baby mama, maybe you should have had an abortion. Why didn't she go to the child chop shop? She lives in California. It's abortion clinic on every corner. Go and get that handle. You want to be one of Nick Cannon's 40 baby mamas? I mean, you're not going to get nothing. I know Mariah pissed the fuck off. Mariah don't, <laughs> Mariah don't even acknowledge them baby mamas. She said, I got two kids. Mariah said, I have two children. Um... My, my children have, my, my son has one sibling. <laughs> Nick, Mariah don't even count Nick's other children as, as, as her children's siblings. <laughs> Mariah is good at just ignoring the BS, you know. Remember when they asked Mariah what she was going to get them kids for Christmas and she said she, she don't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> I think some of these women are getting pregnant by Nick thinking that they're going to get close to Mariah. And thinking maybe they're going to inherit some from Mariah or be in Mariah's will. That ain't happening, bitches. <laughs> Mariah's own sister had full-blown AIDS. And Mariah did not give her sister money to get AIDS medicine. Do you think? That Mariah gonna take care of Nick's, Nick Cannon's chillers. Them chillers is hell no. <laughs> oh my God. Man, you gotta laugh at people, man. We're gonna get a documentary on Nick Cannon. We're gonna get a documentary on Nick Cannon. He been in a lot of negative headlines. They're going to lock him up. A lot of white women are complaining. Why is Nick Cannon hosting the Masked Singer? And he's a bad example to young people because he keep getting all these women pregnant. He's not married. They want to know when is Nick Cannon going to get married. So a lot of these suburban moms are going to really advocate to get Nick Cannon off their TV screens. Nick Cannon is so damn dumb. He messing his money up when he continues to have these women. What he needs to do is come out and say, I have an addiction to getting women pregnant and I'm going to seek help and stop getting women pregnant. Who is around him to get this man a vasectomy? 
We cannot let Nick Cannon have 40 children. It, it, it's, not, it's not a good idea. He's not going to be able to take care of the little, the little babies. Who do you think the first baby mama he going to kill off when he can't afford them child support payments? I think this, this last baby mama, the, the, Lanisha Cole, I think she's going to be the first to get killed off. Because she acting like, oh, she really don't want to be a part of it. If, bitch, if you didn't want to be a part of it, <laughs> you should have took a morning after pill or had an abortion. <laughs> she was my friend. I would say, bitch, you need to go down there and have an abortion. Nick Cannon money not going to last long. Nick Cannon money not going to last long. She needed, if, I was a, if I was a groupie whore like that, I was trying to get pregnant by a celebrity. I tried to get pregnant by Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry money real long. And he only got one kid. So that's who I'll be trying to get pregnant by. Who else? Who else out here that's real rich that um I would try to get pregnant by if I was a groupie whore? Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I wouldn't want no man that got a whole bunch of baby mamas. Uh, let's see, let's see. Who else is out here really rich and don't got a bunch of kids uh, to split the inheritance between? Let's see, let's see. Um, I had to get somebody older, one of them older celebrities. You know, like Idris Elba. How many kids Idris Elba got? Two? Yeah, somebody like him, his money long. Or I could go with Denzel. Denzel only got kids with his wife. You know, if I was Denzel, you know, yeah, that's who I get prayed about. Denzel, that, that money long, too. If you're going to go out, you know, trying to be a groupie whore, you know, you be a groupie whore for somebody that, that got some sense that don't got no 30, 40 baby mom. <laughs> Not that I would be a groupie for, for a married man, you know. I, I don't deal with married men, but I'm just saying hypothetically. <laughs> oh my god oh my god I, I can't feel sorry for these women we just gotta laugh at them at this point y'all yeah. anyway good luck to um the whores that Nick Cannon is fucking good luck to y'all <laughs>